guys, I'm Phoebe Kylie from Grade 5 Pearl. Today I'm gonna show you an experiment on how electricity flows and let's see if it works on all materials we gathered. So let's start! Materials needed Flashlight bulb Aluminum foil Toothpick Paper clip Electrical tape Coin Paper Batteries Cut a part of the aluminum foil into three strips And fold the strips Tape one end of the first strip to the negative side of the battery Then tape one end of the second strip to the positive side of the battery. Place the other end of the second strip around the light bulb. Test your connection by bringing three ends of the second and third strip together. But as you can see, it didn't work because one battery is not enough to supply the needed energy to light a bulb. In this case, I used flashlight bulb with 2.5 volts and the battery I used is only 1.5 volt. That's why it didn't work because the voltage of the bulb is higher than the voltage of the battery. So we decided to double the battery to supply the enough energy for the bulb. So let's tape the two batteries together and repeat the steps from 3 to 6. Tape one end of the first strip to the negative side of the battery. Then tape one end of the second strip to the positive side of the battery. Place the other end of the second strip around the light bulb. Then let's test the connection, so let's try it! Now it's working! So next, let's try it with paper clip if it's work. Oh, it worked too! Now let's try toothpick. Oh, oh, it didn't work. Now let's try coin. It worked! Let's try cotton buds. Didn't work. Let's try paper. Didn't work too. Let's try fork. Let's try spoon with rubber. When I touch the rubber, it didn't work. Let's remove the rubber and test it. It worked! As a result, materials I used like paper clip, coin, fork, and spoon lighted the bulb. But the bulb did not light when we used paper, toothpick, cotton buds, and comb. We have learned from this lesson that a conductor is a material that allows electric current to pass through it. Like copper, aluminum, steel, and any metal. On the other hand, insulators are any material that does not allow electric current to pass through it, like the protective coating on wires, like plastic, rubber, glass, and cloth.